Hey, wait, I forgot to explain the format. Five minutes for the presentation, five minutes for questions and answers. And I have a gong. All right. Gong. My gong is the crowd. Okay. Um, can we lower the lights a little bit? Set Again. the mood. Yeah. Make me look sexy. The mood, mood setting. <laughs> we're set. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here tonight because local tourism sucks, and we're going to change that. Let's say right now you're looking to go out and explore new places in Dallas. What are your options? Well, of course, the obvious are sweaty bus tours. This is a name we've created for an entire genre of guided tour experiences. They're really inconvenient, and bottom line, locals just don't do them. For these reasons, millennials and the next generation are really uh, leaving this approach and embracing a more do-it-yourself approach using apps like Yelp and Foursquare. But these just provide reviews for one place at a time, nothing organized and nothing really that much fun. And that's why Quest is offering something entirely different, a brand new, better way to explore your city using your smartphone as a guide. Quest is 50% scavenger hunt, 50% guided tour, and 100% awesome. Our platform launches users out onto interactive, real-world adventures. A series of amazing places that are tied together by location-based riddles, puzzles, mini-games, and even augmented reality. Now, I know what you're thinking. Other companies have attempted do-it-yourself tour apps. The problem is, they're just condensing the sweaty bus tour into bland audio and text screens, which, which aren't that interactive. But Quest is using the latest and greatest technology to transform your smartphone into the best, most engaging tour guide of all time. Imagine showing up at your Quest and, and showing up at the starting line where you're given your first clue and then launched out onto an awesome adventure where you interact and experience awesome new spots with various different challenges. These include things like lightning rounds, which are 60 seconds of fast-paced questions that you answer using your surroundings for all you adrenaline junkies out there. Riddles and puzzles for the more brainy types. A GPS compass, which is like geocaching on steroids. Image recognition, where you play hide and seek with objects in the real world. And augmented reality, where these real world objects come alive. And our questers are not only guaranteed this amazing time, but they're also rewarded for doing things like sharing their adventure with their friends and family. And by completing challenges along their adventure, they can even unlock discounts and earn free swag. We do this by partnering with local merchants along our Quest route, providing our merchant partners the opportunity to reach customers when they're right outside of their door. So our platform is already providing a lot of value to both our users and our partners alike, but we're planning on making Quest even better. Once we achieve certain milestones for both user and partner growth, we plan to launch something called Quest Plus, which is a fully curated package day or night out on the town. So this not only includes the Quest experience, but also dinner, drinks, and dessert all prepaid with a simple tap. It's pretty much a Tinder user's dream. <laughs> so we launched Quest in Dallas about three weeks ago with a primary focus on growing our user base. And as Omid said, once we reach some targets uh, for user and partner growth, we plan on quickly scaling into other cities with a plan of being in 20 cities with more than 500 Quests in the next three years. Now, 500 Quests is a lot of content for us to create in-house, and there's no way for us to be experts in 20 cities. So we're going to scale using a Questbert model. So this is a proprietary toolkit and training that we've created to turn passionate local experts into Questberts. Uh, we give them the tools that they need in order to create awesome Quest experiences on our platform. And in exchange for their content, we offer them a revenue share from every Quest that they create. So this is going to allow us to walk that fine line between fully user-generated content, which often lacks quality, and content generated entirely in-house, which would limit our scale. So in terms of business model, our primary revenue streams come from users purchasing quests and also our location-based advertisements. Between now and over the next few months, we're continuing our open beta, which has all of our quest experiences free to our users in an effort to really focus on growing our user base and our platform. We're also building private quests for events and for venues for some supplementary cash flow early on, while Andrew and I continue to really focus on our vision, which is building quests out in those urban areas and out in those cities. Quest was only conceptualized a short 10 months ago. And between then and now, we made some incredible strides with just four guys working at this part-time and absolutely no external funding. 
we managed to fully develop and launch our platform with over half a dozen quests available to our users and live. We've solidified key partnerships with the cities of Dallas, Denton, Arlington, and Capel, and we've wow. closed our first few contracts already achieving profitability. We know that someday soon, Quest is gonna change the way that we all explore the world. So next time you find yourself on that proverbial sweaty bus, get off and, and go, go Quest. Quest. Thank you. All right, any questions? You ready? Yeah. yeah, question. Yes, in the front. Yeah, do you want to do a coffee quest in Dallas on Bay Park? Before All right. Yeah, right, here. right here. Yeah. <laughs> coffee quest in Dallas. Okay, great. It should happen. Yeah. yeah. Back there. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we'll skip through it quickly because it, it might take a long time to explain. But um, uh, in Dallas, just for example, one of our quests is in the Bishop Arts District. Um, so you show up at the starting line of that quest and you start on a lightning round. So that's asking you a lot of questions about things that are around you. It's really fun with a group. You're darting your eyes around trying to answer questions. It'll give you a riddle to lead you down to Odd Fellows and then maybe um, from there there's some selfie opportunities at cool spots and um, augmented reality where you have to find a logo on the street that you're on. You go line up your camera with it, it overlays another image on top of it. It's really fun to play with uh, to give you your next clue. Um, and then at the end you're able to get a free prize. It, at one point it was with Zumo's which is a retailer there that recently closed. Um, so we're fixing that one up. But <laughs> anyway. so, so we more or less we make each place like a giant board game. right? We use all these all this different functionality, all these, all these different interaction types to make it a giant board game so you're not only having fun but as you complete these challenges, you can kind of unlock discounts and you're, and you're incentivized, you're rewarded. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? So that, that's on the roadmap. Right now we're focusing on really just growing in Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, we have a lot of learning to do when it comes to, well, really a lot of things, right? So A is our experiences. We're learning every day from our users who go on our experiences, learning what interaction types they like, what interaction types they don't like. And our QuestBert model is something that's growing and really evolving every day. Once we kind of, I'm not going to say perfect, but once we feel comfortable enough with our model and we say, okay, we're ready to start scaling, then we'll start moving outside of Dallas. I think at that point, what we found works really well for us here is partnering with convention and visitors bureaus. And I think that's probably one of the approaches we'll take as we scale outside, is first approaching a convention and visitors bureau, partnering with them. Um, they do a lot of marketing for us. They help not only bring us users, but throw events for us. Um, they help us build the quest. So they provide a lot of value to us. Yeah, so we're collecting just feedback through the App Store, of course, but also uh, every time someone completes a quest, they can give it a star rating, and then we actually ask them to give a brief uh, review of the quest at the, as they finish. Um, also in the quest, there's error tracking and problem tracking, so if you have an issue um, with solving a riddle or something, uh, you can give us some feedback there and skip on to the next. I, I do want to add on to that. So one of the things we're also trying to do because Quest is location-based is really be there, especially as a startup. So we're putting together street teams, we're out there at these locations and we're kind of sending people on these quests, incentivizing them to do it. We're asking them to come back, fill out surveys, collecting feedback. So we're kind of taking that location-based approach as well. Andrew, I'll let you pick. Uh, I'm bad at this. Uh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Sure, so museums and venues are one of the first things we looked at, and that's actually where we saw the, the AR playing a, a beautiful role. Um, there are a couple challenges. One is it's just hard to open doors in larger venues like that, especially because we're so young and we don't have a huge track record. Um, also, the, the, one of the technological challenges for us is, uh, I wouldn't say all, but uh, many of our, our um, interaction types are, are location-based or GPS-triggered. So being indoors, we would have to piggyback off of beacons, so there might be other some other hardware cost associated with it uh, unless we decided to build a quest with just interaction types that were not location driven or required any sort of GPS yeah. interaction. Okay, here.
very cool. Yeah, um, so I'm kind of con over the uh, building the content for the quest, and they've been really awesome, actually. So the Dallas CVB, um, they really want younger people out exploring places, so um, they've been really helpful. Culture Map, we're working on that one, so yeah. We can get another one in, probably. Back here. Uh, so, yeah, right now you're not able to build your own quest on the platform. We might add that in in the future as we build the portal for that. Bam. Look cool. at that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice work, guys. So that first time I pooched it, I didn't start the timer, and then I had to guess, and I just decided to let him finish. So, uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Who's up next? It is 